All right. Welcome to this could have been a text. It's your boy Big Esco. Got Lady Demi here. <laughs> I got I got to find a, a, a prefix to your name. Yeah. We got to Wait, well, why aren't you supposed to be changing your name on Instagram or something? I always want to change my name on Instagram and I never come up with something that I like enough to actually change it. So, it's still the same. There's nothing wrong with her name now. Um, <laughs> but this could have been a text, but we made it a podcast. Um, subscribe, like, haha, I did that in the first minute this time. You know? Uh, we're getting better at this whole thing. Um, man, we want to, we want to, this, this is our scandal show. This is a scandal episode right here. Okay. Uh, it's 2024, so we, we have not been, um, void of any type of scandal. Scandals left and right. Every uh, day. Before we get into the scandals, did you happen to watch the Hip Hop Award, BET Hip Hop Awards? I did not. Figured. Um, yes. <laughs> Figured. A lot of people said they did, and it was really different this year. This year was in the I did see the of, promo for Impact Atlanta. The reality I did show. watch the first 30 minutes of that. I turned it off. Oh, really? Uh, I, I don't like the new... I don't like the Instagram people who do, don't do shit. Okay. So it's like, here's Ari. Ari says, Ari's a business owner. Okay. Okay. That don't mean she needs a show. So a lot of people. I'm not saying they're not successful. Eric is one people. of the best stylists out right now. He's not the whole Walsh show. Walsh is a rapper. It's not about a show. It's not Life about Keisha is a rapper and an actress. And an actress, right. They don't do nothing on the show. They just like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, we just, they could just do that online. Like, what they I've do. I've never online. seen the show, but I do want to see what happened with Ari and Tucson Beef. Right. I, I was made aware of that. Uh, had no idea who I thought Tucson was a city. So, yeah. I'm more on the, uh, I guess, I guess in the Atlanta hip hop gaze, I only know about Saucy Santana. Uh, mm. you know, I'm on the love and hip hop. So I'm not really on the Instagram. Oh, I'm old school, uh, mm. Atlanta. But first of all, culture. Saucy did a season on impact. I feel like. Yeah. I mean, when but I again, thinking. I only know Saucy cause he had a song. I like the song. Mm, okay. I don't, I don't know the name of the song, but I know oh, except okay. for Beyonce. Okay. The booty, 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 booty. <laughs> that should have song. That's a good song. So I see can rap. Yeah, I feel like I niggas. Like the music. I feel like niggas in Atlanta should go ahead and hop on the wave. They they laid on the wave. Yeah. They laid on the on the on the gay rap nigga wave. Yeah. Because it's like everybody's except you know except they should have did it right after he dropped that song with the Beyonce beat. I mean, obviously, people in hip hop don't care. Yeah. Isaiah Rashad got outed. Nobody care. Everybody still like like his music. If you like this music, you like this music. You know what I'm saying? I That's don't true. really think like we already me and you we already have that conversation. Speaking of niggas getting out, it you know let's go into our first scandal. Uh, what's up? Diddy. Oh yes. They saying this is what they saying. What they say? That is drugs in the baby oil. Huh. He's infusing the baby oil. And I'm thinking to myself, that's like, innovative. I don't think that's the right word you should use. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of forms of innovation. <laughs> I don't think that that's one. I mean, to think to infuse baby oil with some drugs so that people can come to your freak offs and I mean, turn it's, up. It's that's just icy hot. Ain't that icy hot, basically? Ain't that icy hot? <laughs> icy hot just got a drug in it, right? And I guess rub it on and shit tingle. It don't Maybe. feel as good as what he got, what he infused his oil with. I'm saying Tanel said he began He's his probably mama, been going on a long time. Tanel said he began his mama the THC cream for her like arthritis and like it works. Tunnel and shit. Yeah, that's the drug. That's what I'm saying. So I'm mm -hmm. I'm just saying though, like to be, I mean, okay. <laughs> We're gonna get a little personal here. I personally haven't <laughs> used no baby oil yet in my intimate moments. Yeah, I haven't either. So. so to be like, first, that's the first thing. We got to have a baby oil conversation. Let's just put that out there, you know? And then 
now the baby oil got. I was about to say weed. It ain't weed. It got it something ain't else weed. in it. Yeah, that's, that's what terrible. I'm saying. Like, how did he do that? That's terrible. And he had thousands. Like, did he have people do it for? Like, no. did he have a company doing it? He like, I just be kind of want. That's why I'm like, this is like, this is, this is next level. This is next this is level. Deep. You just asked me off off the air about the penguin. This nigga is. This is penguin level stuff. No serious. This is this is the kind of shit that these are the kinds of people. Like, mm -hmm. if we was in a Batman, this is the kind of shit Batman would have to have fought. Is yeah. Diddy? He said, "Wait a minute." <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so Diddy it, is the real life Joker, like in real life. I saw I'm giving him more of the the penguin. He's mm. with the mob, like you know what I'm saying. They saying this is a Rico. They saying that this is a mm. an organ a organization, a crime organization. Oh, a syndicate. Okay. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if syndicate is the right word. They just sounded correct. But <laughs> uh no, that's what they saying. You know what I mean? So it's just like <laughs> baby oil is one thing. You yeah, know, that's a new one. I've never heard that before. I've never heard of that before. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's freaky. That's, that's freaky. what I'm saying. It's a new, it's a new level to the freakiness. <sighs> it's sad. And and, and and that's what we said the first time we talked about it. Like, Boosie and all of them was like, oh, well, you can't get freaky no more. That's not what we're saying, my G. Obviously, getting you freaky. You just can't infuse baby oil with drugs. Come on, bro. You can't drug people. <laughs> There's if a he did that, that took a lot of, like... Coordination. Just, you, that's why I said that was, that was the innovative. That was... Mm. Now we know I ain't been on music. Because <laughs> he's been figuring out how to infuse baby oil with drugs. Come on, man. And his last album was good. It was. The last album was good. I, you know, mm -hmm. so I need to go ahead and just play that now. Get it all out. Because mm -hmm. it's like, you know, he about to be, gonna be a time. List. Yeah. Be, you don't play, you don't play R. Kelly? No, no. So like no. if it comes up in the radio, you skip it? I guess it don't. Mm. I don't hear it. Now... Mm -hmm. I don't actively play R. Kelly, but I still like R. Kelly songs for sure. Oh, okay. That's I mean, that's what I was trying to feel. Like, don't get me. Do you not like wrong. the songs anymore? Oh, what? Yeah, Step in the Name of Love is still good. What do you mean? <laughs> Are you getting on the floor dancing to it if they play it at a no, function? No, because I'm never anywhere they're, they're, where, where they're going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even get that out. I'm never anywhere where they're going to play Step in the Name of Love. Okay. Nowhere. He said nowhere. I'm nowhere. 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 You've been places with me. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Because <laughs> I mean, I go most places. If I'm going somewhere to hear the music, I'm probably going off the DJ. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're responsible. I got to start sending you. It's just, it's just shout out to the Road Podcast. It's a mm -hmm. DJ podcast. It might actually be the reason why I get on Patreon because okay. now I'm a DJ. I was I was very much so reluctant to step into being a DJ because I felt like it would take away from me being a rapper for some reason, which is something that I totally just made up. Like yeah. nobody ever said that to me. I just made that up in my brain. Um, <laughs> but I've really, as the years have gone on, I've done different gigs. It's obviously levels to being a DJ. You know what I'm saying? I'm a basketball player, but I'm not LeBron, you know? <laughs> so it's the same you know, thing. But like being a DJ, I have like the core principles of I feel like all traditional good djs you know mm -hmm. no matter my skill level technique my music style whatever and it's just like if you're a responsible dj you're not playing robert man Get wow me. you're not, playing you're not even r kelly you're not playing robert you're not playing robert we probably should stop saying his name you know what i'm saying before we get okay. flagged on youtube you know <laughs> Crazy people. Because like you said, if he was like the Joker, right? Imagine this. We're still keeping him relevant. Now we're on YouTube. Now we promoting the Penguin and the Joker because we sitting around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No, Robert. Robert's music is still high Robert's quality. Robert's music. It, you know, like, it would be the equivalent of Kanye getting canceled. Hmm. Like, so many things that are positive mm -hmm. in music in hip hop are um generations of Kanye. Mm -hmm. That's oh, we didn't really talk about J. Cole. Mm, We're gonna get into J. Cole. Oh yeah. Because you um, said you got beef with J. Cole, right? I'm a, I'm, I might as well go ahead and get into it right now. You know, 
<laughs> this because, not your whole house. You know, it makes me upset because the way that he's acting, people might as well have gay Wale that spot. People might as well have gay Big Sean that spot. Okay. Because, you know, let's keep it a bean. Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole benefited from having like big homies, right? Predecessors yeah. at the time. Kendrick was on an independent label. So his rise up was different than J. Cole's and Drake's at the time mm-hmm. when they got on. But having a cosign from Lil Wayne, having a cosign from Jay Z. And I guess my whole thing is like, it's kind of, it's like, Kendrick said it. We can keep it. It's a friendly fade. We can keep it that way. Mm-hmm. Don't don't say nothing crazy about me. I'm not gonna say nothing crazy about you. And I feel mm-hmm. like that's the part of them not being fully black that they missed. For real, because it's like if I don't like you, right? What's the first you gonna say something to me that could cut me? Yeah, just simple as that. Whether it's true or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, bitch ass nigga. That's why you don't be faithful to your girlfriend. <laughs> I know about some whole, whether you know it or not, if you heard it, it's a rumor and you think mm-hmm. it might get under my skin, you're gonna say it. Yeah. So he did, Kendrick did that. Where ooh, you know, it's probably A minor. Cause he didn't mm-hmm. do that until the dude was like, Oh yeah, that ain't your baby. Mm-hmm. And you know, your wife, you probably do something crazy with your wife. Mm-hmm. And he was like, Oh, really? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, oh, okay. what I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, cause he kept it cool. But we don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Yeah. I'm starting to feel that way about J. Cole now, too. Wow. I don't well, do we? That's a privilege. You know what I'm saying? Before Drake and J. Cole, who were the biggest mixed rappers? I'm I'm not even gonna have you waste your time. We don't know. I, I already been doing this research. I was gonna say Eminem, but I'm like, no, he's actually white. He's actually white. So we have some light skin, LL light skin, common mm-hmm. light skin. Yeah. Common off 70. He from Cottage Grove. Yeah. He not he yeah. not mixed. He's not mixed. He's not mixed. <laughs> he's there's still being light skin and mixed. French Montana, Moroccan. He not mixed. He's at North African. DJ Cal is Arab. He's not <laughs> mixed. <laughs> Because I'm really thinking, like, do I know mixed rapper? Who was the biggest mixed rapper? And, of mm. course, I bet you, like you said, we go across uh, nationality. So, we done had the Dominican. Shout out to Fat Joe. Mm-hmm. Fat Joe, Puerto Rican. What are they? Puerto Rican? I think yeah, he's Puerto they, Rican. Yeah, they Puerto Rican. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, hip-hop is born from the Blacks, the Caribbeans, mm-hmm. and Latinos. So, I'm sure there are technically some mixed people there, but I'm talking mm-hmm. about that American mixed. What is it? What is that it? American mixed? What's the American mix? Uh, a lot of my little cousins. Shout out to my little cousins in Omaha. Black daddy, mm-hmm. white mama. Okay. Now that black mama white daddy combo, that's a little different. It's a little different. It's a little different. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just is what it is. You know, and so. I'm just saying that to say, I feel like both of them just overreacting to Kendrick. Yeah. Oh, Drake got on Instagram. Oh, no, nothing, mom. When Rick Ross started making fun of his nose. Oh, they're just on there being racist. That was so, like, like Drake just does. Come on, bro. Don't I don't even that. follow Drake anymore. We're not even going to let you play with us no more, bro. We yeah, like, like, I don't please, even. Bro, you can't just, even come over and play with us no more, bro. He just does a lot for not If you're not a pedophile, you're not a pedophile, bro. <laughs> He not, you know what I'm saying? He not Kendrick haven't did nothing. All he did was put the song out and he himself made a video. That's all he didn't did. Yeah. Everything else is everybody else. Why do everybody else feel that way? No, seriously. And Baca's got a weird case. No, he Because really if nobody did. felt that way, the song wouldn't be as popping as it. Baca's got a weird case. Why is he around? He really did get arrested for uh human trafficking. Hmm. Got fuck a mood. <laughs> and then then you J. Cole you come out with the diss record that was hella mid mm-hmm. that was hella mid come on dog I'm apologizing get you, you we was calling you out because Wale should have we should have gave Wale that no we should have been putting Nicki Minaj in the big three 
for this, yeah. Nicki Minaj would have been like, fuck that nigga Ken. She already said that shit. I don't like y'all get Kendrick the look because he make the weird voices. When I do the weird voices, y'all try to clown me. I've been Nicki Minaj hosting <laughs> for years. She been saying that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. But that's Nicki fault. That's Nicki fault. I'm I'm giving Nicki a shaky. Nicki shaky to me. Mm. She wasn't born in America. Yeah, I'm now, now I'm getting on my nationalism. She wasn't oh, born okay. in America. Where was she now, going? Now she, she was born over the islands. Where's she from? <laughs> the islands. She yeah. was born from over there. And now you coming to America fucking with Remy Ma. Real from the Bronx, from the BX. <laughs> That's where hip hop started. Now you, now you causing all this turmoil. You know what I'm saying? Now you ain't even from here. You don't even go here. Now little Kim ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Come on. So now look Kim ain't shit. I can't rock with that under the Black American Act, under the Black History Act. That's starting to feel funny to me now. It's starting to feel funny. I should have worn my other shirt. My every every month is Black History Month shirt. Because it's hold on. Don't worry. I got a sticker right here. For the people, this ain't going nowhere. I need to get. I need that for my laptop. Next time you in town, Black yeah. History Month is every month. I need that for my laptop. You know what I'm saying? So, look, the, it's just starting to feel funny to me. That's all I'm saying. I, because it was some, it was some talk out there, like in the summer, about Jamaicans. Are they black? Kamala yeah. Harris kind of started that conversation. No. Mm-hmm. You're from the soil. You respect the soil. That's what it is. Because Black Americans, we got our own history here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, is Kamala Black? Yeah, Kamala's Black under the what Black really is. Like you know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. Like Black, what Black really is. Now, is she of what uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad called the tribe of Shabazz? Is she from the tribe of Shabazz? Technically, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same they said about Obama. But see, Obama had Michelle, where she's from all kinds of grow, off seven, you know, <laughs> off, off from the from the spot. So she good in the soil. You know what I'm okay. saying? Rihanna got her a nigga from the soil. Mm-hmm. She she was confused there for a second. She was confused. She just thought she thought it was Drake. Then she thought it was a nigga from overseas. Mm-hmm. Chris Brown, a little light skin, little it got weird. For a second, for her. she was all over the place. They got weird for a second. I'm sure ASAP from New York. I'm sure he got some little something, some Caribbean something. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. he was born in Harlem. That mm. it just he from the soil. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? Now J Cole from the soil. Mama moved him out. Now they gotta live in the burbs. You know. Now mm-hmm. he dealing with his blackness. Mm-hmm. We all deal with our blackness differently. Beyonce, she like no, I'm country. I'm gonna deal with my blackness in this kind of way. Okay. I feel like she has like that is Beyonce's marketing. What? It's her blackness. Hmm. Post, post lemonade. It's all been that. about like Houston, Texas. Mm-hmm. You know what Louisiana. I'm saying? The African shit. Then it's about mm-hmm. the Creole. Then it's about the country. It's about her exploring her blackness. Mm-hmm. In a way, which is like, which is peace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like with Drake, it's like, yeah, when we gonna get the Hanukkah raps? <laughs> yeah, you had a bar miss. When we gonna get the Hanukkah raps? But that's not you for real. Because that's what I'm saying. When we was growing up. Every nigga got their real nigga record. Like, you know, I grew up in the church. I made a song for my mama. Mm-hmm. Or I did. You know what I'm saying? He he started off like that, but it's been real shaky since then. <laughs> He lucky Adonis. No, nah, for real. You know, we talk about this. He lucky Adonis not a girl. Yeah. Kanye don't give a fuck. So North crazy already. <laughs> North is crazy as hell. North crazy already. She don't give a fuck. She North like, don't give a fuck. When North's like, like, what's up? It's up. It's up. It's up. <laughs> like, no, really. Like, North be living life, okay? You know what I'm saying? Blue, a little more to myself, you know. I'm yeah. In the kingdom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the kingdom. It's a little big guy. Like, a little different. She like, uh... Yeah. Renera. I don't really be, I don't really like be out there with her. She like Renera off of House of Dragon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She'll throw him, you know? Yeah, you gotta, she's like, like yeah, I'm what? chilling. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's what I mean. Shit is getting crazy out here. Mm-hmm. Shit is getting real crazy. So when Diddy has like started, you know what I mean? Yeah. And J. Cole, kudos to J. Cole. He stood up to Diddy one time. Mm-hmm. Diddy had his running with Drake. 
Mm-hmm. You know, Kendrick said how he felt about that. He told Adonis, dear, dear Adonis, don't never let nobody piss on your leg. Don't matter if they drunk or not. You got to die right there. You got to you gotta handle that. Why would you pee on... Who, who I, look like? I don't condone violence, but I understand what Kendrick is saying. It feels like it's a real... It's, it's, it's going to be a lot of... Something gonna happen right there. It's not no mistakes. It's that the, it's a lot of ways that people can make mistakes. That's that not ain't one mistake. of them. That's what I want. We can. That handle. wasn't a mistake. Bro. It's not a mistake we can handle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm just questioning now these people's commitment to our 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 nation mm-hmm. of hip hop. <laughs> and it's a UN shout out to Skepta. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, we got different, you know, the 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 the, the Nigerian rappers, Africa, we got mm-hmm. rap is all over. France is the second biggest uh rap uh country. It's the United States and I France. actually you know I found that out when I was in France and like um one of our like Uber drivers mm-hmm. played like some of his rap, like friends rap music, and it we was in that mug like, okay, like you know what I'm saying. It's bumping. Like, who so, is this? <laughs> well, international. I, I be in Mexico. You hear the Mexican trap? Mm-hmm. Mexican trap is fire. I'm not going to lie. It <laughs> is. Because it's like, you don't know what they're saying, but you feel it. You just feel the aggression you behind feel it. feel it. It's just like, yeah, y'all. Yeah. You know you what I'm saying? You want that shit. <laughs> y'all, y'all. It's the cartels and shit. Whatever going on over here. <laughs> Some going serious. on. Some going you know on. What I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying now. It's starting to get real funny in the light. And it's yeah. not because they just white. It's how they act. It's how mm-hmm. you act. Alchemist is white. No problems. He been with Mob Deep. He done been with all the real, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Niggas that made fun of Eminem. But overall, that was competitive rap beef. Yeah, for sure. But these two, is it's making me uncomfortable. It's making you uncomfortable. It's making me uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. This is DMX's game. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Y'all older than me. Y'all grew up on DMX. Or maybe mm-hmm. y'all didn't. Yeah, maybe y'all, Jay Cole. I talk about here all these CDs. Raekwon <laughs> was not realize this. <laughs> it was no point if you study Raekwon that you thought that that was a good response to do. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. When you start to veer off, well, now you're not doing. Now that's something different. Dang, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Going back to my point, we've been talking about the top three. We could have got that to Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. We could have Wale and Big Sean wanted that spot at some point in time. Mm-hmm. Future don't get his nod and love that he deserves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the he hip does. rap for traditionally, everybody always gave it to him under the rap mm-hmm. act, and it was finally time for him to earn it amongst the board. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then he bitched out, said something out. Then he come back out and talking about now he would have won. Come on, dog. Mm-hmm. Come on, dog. Rap about your wife or something, bro. <laughs> rap about your wife or something. You Just stop talking about this. Actually, like, don't because he was making raps like I want to fold clothes for you and shit. So no, no, you. That's when I stopped being a J Cole fan when he had a song talking about folding clothes. So you can't help fold the clothes. Yeah, but that don't it don't need to be a song. <laughs> it don't need to be a song. A but he ain't have nothing better to say, huh? You know what this song should be about? I want to fold clothes for you, baby. That's how much I love you. That's not a player. You think LL got the I want to fold clothes for you song? Uh, you think, you think, nah, I mean, he's he problematic. You think Fabulous got the folding clothes for you song? No. Fabulous definitely doesn't have a folding clothes. Come on, clothes man. Here, so. so that's what I'm saying. What what rap was you watching? <laughs> 50 had 21 questions. <laughs> you want to fold clothes. Come on, man. 50 had 21 questions. I mean, Eminem gay. I mean, not Eminem. Eminem gay. I mean, I was gonna say Lil Wayne, even Wayne, Jeezy. Hey, yeah. I don't look at Jeezy the same either, though. Why? Because he had he had the uh, what's her name, Jenny. Oh, Jenny was one thing. I forgot about Jenny. <laughs> he said, "Uh, dang, Tanel got a bar too about that." He said, "Trap or die, but I like my women black." Something like that. Mm-hmm. Something, but. Uh, no, nah, man. The whole Gucci man thing, man. Oh. Now you're trying to be sophisticated and all the other shit. You can't, no. You can't it's do that? It's up for life. It's up for life. It's up for life? Yeah. 
I'm just saying. Or are you just playing, or you really didn't mean it? You got that dude killed yeah. for no reason. You know what I'm saying? You got him killed for no reason. It's crazy. I'm just saying, Dolphin them dead. That's true. I'm just saying. That is very true. You talk about that shit. Like, otherwise, that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't promote that kind of shit. That's kind of my yeah. point with the Drake shit. It's like, Kendrick actually from where the gangs are. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's not promoting that shit. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Going back to my point, we could have just gave these things. We should have just kept this as black Americans. <laughs> the big three from their generation should have. Wiz Khalifa, we would have better off giving it to Wiz. Wiz, was the, Wiz, Wiz used to be that nigga. That's what I'm saying. But then we like we still that. a cool nigga. But I'm saying like the, his songs. And then we what? then we start trying to be cool with J Cole. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I know you. Well, I know we wanted to talk about the the conspiracies around mm -hmm. people wanting to include. Beyonce and Jay Z and this Diddy mayhem. Yes. But before you get started, I want to okay. say it hit me the other day. Uh -huh. People who believe that shit are those same people who were watching the Jay Z Beyonce uh, Illuminati videos. <laughs> and that is one space in black culture that I can honestly say I have never been. Yeah, I've never been in that space. I've never been in that space. And Neither. I'm wondering why, like, why so many people want Jay Z? Like, what do they think or what do they know? Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, oh, you are the motherfuckers watching that shit. Yeah, y'all just didn't grew up now. Yeah, I didn't just grew. Sad. Well, what yeah. have you seen about people? Well, one, I think it's just the topic that they're trying to bring them into it. Um, I did see a video, uh, not a video, a photo rather floating around that was it had Diddy in it. I'm like ninety percent sure. Picture. Oh, that was AI with J Lo standing naked and with then, the security camera thing. Yeah, I man, guess. that was AI. I don't know if that's what it was, but I, either I way, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so maybe that's AI. But I saw I saw people, and I only know this because I saw people like reposting and responding to that bit to that picture. And you know, it's just more of the conversation of like Jay Z's next, and Jay Z's been a menace as well in the rap world. And you know, he's been able to just cover it up this whole time. You know, the, the people that you saw share, I got two points. <laughs> there are random people on IG, you know, you know, and you know, I live in the comments so that way. Okay. I can bring what the people are saying to the table. Okay. All right. Well, never mind. That's going to mute my point, my first point. I was going to say, what high school did these people go to? But that's another <laughs> point. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to stop. Be petty. Okay. What high school did these people go to? Um, it's a sector of people. I'm seeing it with Kendrick, too. Mm -hmm. It's a sector of people who, in rap, black culture, mm -hmm. that, like, you say, this person is really good. And because they're not purposely trying to be the most ignorant motherfucker they could be <laughs> people downplay it like black people downplay it and try to act like the person is trying to be overly smart or they're trying to do something like that mm -hmm. and maybe because they just I mean they could just not like it it's, you know what I mean it's yeah. not even that deep it's like I just don't think that's that, that hot mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying but then they try to always like make it add something salacious to it I feel mm -hmm. like and that's something that's always been around with Jay-Z you know what I'm saying like he's not as like maybe personable to people or haven't tried to be as like personable or relatable as mm -hmm. like maybe people may feel about a Nas yeah. or something like that or he hasn't made himself as accessible as a person like 50 Cent mm -hmm. you know what I mean like as yeah. the years have gone on and like his other like LL and them on TV Fat Joe you know what I'm saying he just be to mm -hmm. himself so I just feel like he was just saying real shit that's like not the most popular shit to say yeah and so I feel like people try to just like put him in that group. And mm -hmm. then I feel like Beyonce gets lumped into it just because it's her husband. And yeah. A lot of Beyonce fans don't like Beyonce because they have like this weird thing where they like to say that like Jay Z just groomed Beyonce and she just had, mm -hmm. she's just, I guess, in this trance, which yeah. I guess then in, in tune, I always tell to myself, if y'all really feel that way, then why do y'all listen to her music? 
Wouldn't that make all her music mute? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that I mean, I just think Beyonce grew up faster because of her lifestyle. And I think she was just at a point where she could connect with Jay-Z. You know what I mean? Connect with an older man like that. And I yeah. but I just think she just was I think she just grew up faster. Yes, clearly. And she was she was like And if she grew up in a different time. Mm -hmm. Like, like, is that a real thing? Like yeah. in the 90s, growing up when she did that, like mm -hmm. she just grew up differently than how her people that might like people might look at as her age, kinda like a yeah. uh, Shanti, a uh, Sierra. Mm -hmm. Like they came of age too, even though they were older than her. Maybe not Sierra, yeah. but it's just like the requirements were different. Yeah, like Beyonce was really from the 90s, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and she's really. No social media and her come up. All entertainment, Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just different kind of standards of life that people had back then that they don't have now. I you agree. know? And so, we're not going for none of the Jay-Z, Beyonce, you know, craziness. Yeah. No, I don't think they have, like, I wouldn't even want them to have anything to do with it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I wouldn't even want them to be involved in no shit like this. Yeah. I, and I guess it's just like, again, it's one of those things like you can hang out with some people and not do everything with them. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be close as hell to people. That don't mean you like know every fucking thing that they're doing, especially yeah. if they're doing it covertly, illegally, mm -hmm. which is how it probably should like, be. Yeah, you know what I mean? Know. It's like you yeah. can't hold them responsible for that. Speaking of major Hollywood couples, mm -hmm. well, before we get to them, another Hollywood couple broke up. Ooh. Within rap, hip hop, I guess. Uh, do you know anything about DDG and uh, yeah, it, yeah, Bailey? Is it Holly? Haley, is it Haley? Haley, Haley. Holly Berry is Holly. No, it's Haley, Haley, yeah, yeah. and Haley Bailey, yeah, mm -hmm. Haley rhymes, yeah. I mean, you know, her fans always said that she was too good for him, yeah. Which is an annoying thing to say. I hate when people say that. <laughs> like you don't yeah, even know her. Yeah. You don't know who. You know what I mean? Like you don't even know, know her. Girl. You don't even know her, bro. I would say that she didn't seem more like his type than vice versa. Yeah. Based off him being like with Ruby Rose and them type of. Mm -hmm. That was a big jump, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not to try to um, judge Ruby Rose based off of her uh, internet shenanigans, but. I mean, that's all we have to go off of. That's all we have to go off, Miss Ruby. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. She Ruby seemed like a cool crazy. girl, though. She seemed cool. She seemed like she... I don't know that, actually. She don't seem that cool, actually. Girls like that actually don't seem that cool to me. Maybe because I'm a little bit older than them. So that kind of, like, that behavior to me always just seems like little kid behavior. And maybe that's mm -hmm. why I don't like the show, like, the impact. But, like, yeah. Yeah. Y'all just are cute and just online. Like, that doesn't... That don't, like... That don't mean nothing. Do something. <laughs> like Vashti was cute, but like she DJ, she direct a video. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that was fly. You know yeah. what I mean? Or you just were like a video girl model. You just cute. Melissa Ford. Yeah. You just you're just cute. You haven't did nothing else. That's what you do. You do cuteness. That's your whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just, you know, shake ass, which is tight. I'm I'm sure I didn't like the R video ass shaking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm sure I have. But <laughs> Yeah, that don't mean I need to watch you on the TV show. And they got like Tory Brinks on there now. Rich yeah, Rich Tory Rich. Brinks been on there was like very random. Very random because she's old as fuck. Yes, and it was so funny because, because <laughs> I saw her, like they did this question thing about like who influences the influencers. And it was like every question that she could answer Rich the Kid. She was like, Rich the Kid. Rich the Kid. And I was just like. What a loser. This girl is wrong. She got look. Richard Kidd had a baby with the girl from the Twerk Team, or whatever. Something going on there. Something going on. Some some weird going on there. Niggas are weird to me. Yeah, let's just start there. I agree. I I agree. Niggas are weird. Very weird. And nigga and weird niggas get with weird bitches. <laughs> I'm tired of women acting like. I'm not weird. He's weird. No, y'all are weird. Y'all are weird. If you stay around, now it's y'all. Y'all you know are one. 
It's y'all. Y'all a you unit. Could be, you could be a person getting bullied, and then you fight back, and you take it too far, and now mm-hmm. you're the bully. Yeah. A very thin line. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to let y'all know, y'all are weird now. Ladies. Ladies. It's getting weird. <laughs> it's getting weird. Like, just so y'all know, I'm talking to you. Ladies. Look, I be watching, you know, I, I still watch Little Basketball Wives, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I be seeing Shawnee husband. He be in the headlines doing something weird at church, telling people shut up. And he be doing all kind of wild stuff at church, bro. Really? Yes. And so now That's I'm just true. like, I don't know, Shawnee. Maybe it's you. It might be you. It might be your, you know. Maybe it's your discernment. Where is your? I was just gonna say. You know what I'm saying? Where are your antennas at? You know? Yeah. Because it's not that uh, men don't evolve. Mm-hmm. Some men evolve. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ace hey, Rocky's a good example. I mean, he still was shooting niggas a couple years ago. He definitely shot a nigga a couple years ago. Definitely shot somebody. But he allegedly. beat that case. I don't think so. Allegedly. Oh. Okay. Um. But yeah, I see the growth in him as a person. Kendrick yeah. Lamar, the things that they put out, even J Cole. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm making fun of him in his rap because I think he's making bad rap decisions but you know I could tell that he's thinking about things just differently as a husband as a father I could yeah. appreciate that growth that's why people are annoyed with Drake making duck faces and wearing barrettes you know what I'm saying but every time somebody forces me to see him on my timeline I get upset because yeah. it's always some shit where it's like what are you doing why are you poking your lips out but why you got I your hair say, like two ponytails with balls on the ends like do, what's going on I do appreciate Drake leaning into it and just being the villain I think that's a smart move for him Okay. Just go ahead and be annoying. Go ahead, go all in because it's a group of people that don't think you're annoying. They actually like that shit. Most of them True. are probably young or fair skinned or women. <laughs> right? Nothing wrong with that. Just maybe it's a coincidence. Is it young, fair skinned, young, or women? Comma, Fair skin, comma, and or because it could be like an all mm-hmm. a woman. Hmm, okay. The women haven't gone, not gonna let Drake go. They're gonna like, yeah, we'll still love the song. Yeah. It's I have a friend and she loves Drake. Like loves, loves Drake. And when he do shit, like I send it to her. And I'd be like, is this okay. is this okay? She don't care. And it's always like she like laugh it off, like, man, stop. And it's like <laughs> Is that friend married? Is it okay? No. Uh-uh. Start, start, start taking a look at the guys. Start taking a look at the guys. <laughs> That's you know? funny. Because it's a... Uh, it's a taste thing. Hmm. It's a taste thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, what your partner likes says something about you. Hmm. Interesting. Because it's like, you know, on both ways. You know what I'm saying? If, if for instance, because guys like can overinterpret this, but like if a girl, for instance, was like dating guys of high status, mm-hmm. right? I love all these guys of high status. And then maybe she dated you next, and maybe you weren't as high status as them. Mm-hmm. But you got to recognize that maybe it was something that was like motivation, drive, determination, some one of the mm-hmm. uh, positive quality that she thought she might get from somebody who has the the accolades mm-hmm. or stuff to show of it, more stuff to show of it, but they could just not have the type of character. Yeah. Whereas you could have those same positive things, you just don't have the same things to show. Mm-hmm. And a lot of guys could get insecure about that and feel like, oh, well, whatever they feel. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? When they're just looking at it kind of wrong. Yeah. That's a positive way to look at it. But it's the same thing too of like in the negative, like if your girl want to fight all the time and shit, and that's her, her old niggas like she still like doing that. It's like, oh, well, that says something about you too. Yeah. Like, why you want you with her? Yeah, why you want this argument of ass girl, bro? Like, mm mm. That you was said, one thing. that was one thing. No more. No like, more argument. Argue, like, I don't. I mean, I don't. Uh, like, obviously, just being a man and living mm-hmm. with a woman, she's not going to agree with all the things that I do. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly, so just that alone, mm-hmm. we're already gonna have enough friction there. 
just natural good friction. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, some good friction is cool. Natural good coexistence. I don't need like actual real friction in this mug. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I've done dealt with that for real. And I wasn't even like fully living with that person. Mm -hmm. Younger in your life, real arguments are crazy. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, that takes us to our last couple, Cardi B and Offset. Who yeah. I'm sure they had crazy arguments in real life because Cardi B is a Libra, so she's crazy. She's <laughs> is that crazy. like, are you, because you're a Libra too, so is that? The 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 young person I'm talking about at the time in their life, they were a Libra as well. <laughs> so it's like a, it's a, it's a pettiness. That's Ooh, a, I know a Libra and petty. Yeah, because it's like, I mean, we because you can't really shame a Libra. That's the problem with Libras. Yes. Can't shame a Libra. You can't. I've already thought about it all. So you just said it. I already thought about that shit. I don't so, give a fuck at this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you just said it. Like, great. <laughs> but you actually can have your feelings hurt a different kind of way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Libras, you can't say a lot of shit to Libra. Like, oh, you hurt my feelings. You said this to me. Or whatever. I already, I already knew that. I knew I was gonna make a shit I said it. You know what I'm saying? And now, you know what I mean? So that's the problem with Libras. So Cardi B is this, you know, ghetto Libra. Let's call it spade a spade. She a ghetto Libra. She a ghetto Libra. So she be that, she be running off that down, huh? But you know, Cardi B, a lot of young, uh, like a lot of young ladies from the hood, mm -hmm. born in the hood, feel like Oh, I need a hood nigga. Mm -hmm. I need a real nigga. Yeah. And then she didn't got this nigga. I already got kids. Red mm -hmm. flag number one. So yeah, I also I really, really don't feel that bad for her. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people say. Like, because we're not like 40, like in the age bracket, we're not like 45, 50. Where it's like, yeah. he has some kids. He didn't live life. Of course, yeah. it's people, it's hard to date somebody at this point. No, you got yeah. options. You got options. You got options. She definitely yeah. got options. You got options. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? He could have been married, you know, like, but you had options, but you want a certain type of nigga. So mm -hmm. that comes with certain type of behavior. Yeah. And women just may be more discreet than men in certain ways, but it's just like, so a hood lady may not just cheat on you hella bad like a nigga will, but that's what I'm saying. That's what you wanted. You didn't want a nigga that was like, had a different temperament. And I'm not saying that niggas of other temperaments don't cheat. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is that maturity. It's how yeah. I can get too. He from mm -hmm. New York, but I don't feel like he just fucking Rihanna over. Yeah, that's true. No, but I think too with Cardi B and Offset, he has shown her so many times who he is, and it's like that's how he got with her. I don't know how she continues to like disregard that. Think about what I'm saying. You already got kids. If you mm -hmm. start dating a dude right now that had children, it's mm -hmm. certain things that he could could show you that shows you what type of time he is. Yeah. What type of man he is. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like people be like, I cannot believe I'm having a rough time with a man who frequents strip clubs. I'm so confused on why I'm, I'm dating this man who likes to spend his free time around half naked women. Why I can't keep his attention? Why he doesn't value me all the way? Because I, I can't believe the nigga who I date who smoke weed all day does not regard my time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we talking about, G? <laughs> like, say the shit out loud. <laughs> And that's and that's let me tell you something that is what people need to do like it's been times especially like you know like what has been going on in my life where yeah. i've had to say that shit out loud and be like you gotta say it out loud bro that shit don't make no sense like good stuff, it's no bad, way. Stuff. Good stuff yeah. and bad stuff like you gotta say it out loud you have to because it's like when you got it in your mind you can kind of like Fix it to be what it is, but if you say the facts of the facts of it out loud, it's like, come on, wait, man. what did I just, what just happened? What what happened? And it's like, I get, I guess I view it too different with social media. I'm a social media kind of person, and I mm -hmm. am social, so I don't have a barrier of like meeting new people, right? 
it's always somebody new to meet. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And now that's what I'm saying. Since women have wanted to equal the playing field, mm-hmm. the playing the the social dating thing is different. It's horrible. Like the because women are just like this generation of women are just lazy. They're lazy. You know what I'm They're saying? Lazy. Like you can't. Like it's like getting it's like now y'all are managers. Y'all been wanting to be managers. Now yeah, you gotta wake your ass up. Wake up. Now y'all know what it means to be men, right? So think about it. I'm gonna take you to a scenario. Be. No, too late. Your, your predecessors <laughs> asked for it. Too late, right? I didn't. I would have been chilling. So like I, if my life and like what I do, even like back then before they did all these women rights all this, like I still would have been chilling. Like you don't think I still would have been doing people hair? Like I still would. Like, now I men know. have to treat you. I mean, you're gonna have to find a guy that's just really steeped in the conservativeness. Huh. You in the South, so yeah. you know you you better your chances. But yeah. now men are taught like, I mean, think about it. If you're 25, which means you're not of our generation, mm-hmm. but you're a grown ass person, right? Yeah. You're 25, 27, 28, still not of our generation, grown ass person, bro. Mm-hmm. You can't walk up to girls how we used to were taught to walk up to women. You yeah. really got to, she can really have her own X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. And it's not that we wasn't dealing with women like that before. We watched Girlfriends. Mm-hmm. I watched Queen Latifah. Uh, Khadija yeah. had a business. Maxine I was just going to say, living single. She ran, what, she ran a magazine? Flavor. Mm-hmm. Flavor. You know what I'm saying? Flavor. Maxine was mm-hmm. a lawyer. A you know lawyer, I mean? yeah. Uh, Pam worked at the advertising agency. You know, so uh-huh. people been having they jobs, had good having job. gigs and stuff. Mm-hmm. But they wanted men Mm-hmm. to be kind of way and if they had those jobs then they had to relinquish certain stuff because you just that pool is so much smaller especially when a black man right mm-hmm. you want a black man you're a black woman you're a lawyer you're making a certain amount of money you want a black man you grew up in a black area so you need a nigga mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying unless you can date a dude from the suburbs because that is different Yeah, you know what I'm saying like one of my homeboys he dating this girl she from the suburbs in Kansas City Mm-hmm. He and Chicago, I'm like, damn, bro, move to High Park, like move all south. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. some big ass nice houses. Rich black people live over there. Like you could find mm-hmm. you something in the cut. He like, nah, she not really going for that. That's not really. Damn. And I'm like, I feel you because she didn't grow up like that. So yeah. people had that misconception. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Same crimes happening in the white neighborhood, happening in the black neighborhood. Same crimes. Mm-hmm. You you not you not the GDs or the folks. So nobody even finna run down on you. Like <laughs> Not one of the lawyers and all shit. So you know, he's saying like you're not gonna get ran down on or nothing. Yeah, but it's so I will say the suburbs is just different. Just for me, like living in the suburbs now, I can see how when you if you grew up in the suburbs, how even going to a nice part of the city is different because it's just a completely different atmosphere. Man, like I lame, miss. They lame. They lame, lame, bro. You said what? If they lame, just say they lame. You can't have it both ways, bro. That is what cool is based off of. Cool is based off of the city. Yeah. Hip hop, New York, the Bronx, not based off of the suburbs <laughs> of New York. It's based off the city where the motion at. That's where culture That's happens. That's where I miss the happen. city. That's I what I'm saying. Niggas be like, oh, well, I need to. It's cool, bro. There's nothing wrong with slowing your life down being lame. Just know your rank ain't as high as the niggas in the city making it, making it happen. It's just not. You a suburban nigga, you got to get you a suburban nice girl. You want to? So do I have to find me a suburban man now. If that's what you own. You can't be around. I, like, I miss the city. I don't know if I want a suburban. That's what man. I'm saying. These girls, like you, a suburban dude, right? So you hit the city on occasion. Mm-hmm. No, this shorty, she go to the city all the time. She from the city. <laughs> Tuesday, she got a spot. Wednesday, she got the spot. Thursday, she got the spot. Friday, Saturday, she mm-hmm. showed. So she be outside. Yeah, she know the like. Yeah, she went to school with bro. Now he's so and so. You just been watching it from the internet. Mm-hmm. So you've been watching niggas live their life in the city. You couldn't wait. You graduated. Yeah. You grew up, went to college. Now you come to the city, move around, but you're not. I've been knowing her since she was 12, bro. I just know her. I don't. I you know I've been knowing her since she was 12, bro. <laughs> I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I just know her. You know what I mean? Like, it's that kind of a thing. And I right, witnessed that living in Chicago, seeing mm-hmm. that dynamic, being in, back in St. Louis. It's a similar dynamic. That's yeah. why I'm saying Black St. Louis is struggling because now, it's like more people have just been growing up in the county. Mm-hmm. But it's just like y'all can't make North County tight like that. It would to never where culture, be. To where culture can happen there. Like the culture yeah. and like 
But of course, hanging out, drinking, clubbing, like, yeah, niggas mm-hmm. can do that wherever, kind of. But that's not where, like, the scene is. That's what I'm saying. Cool. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a difference between being hood and cool. Yeah. You go to the county, you can hit the hood spot. It's mm-hmm. not that cool, though. Yeah, it's not. And another thing about North County is, like, they're trying to bring the culture out there because it's a lot out there. You know what I mean? Like, I know a lot of right. people, like, you know, like you, like when I come home, I I work in North County now. You know what I mean? So it's right. like, it's a lot of like black people in co- black culture out there, but it'll never be the city. It's just not cool. It's, it's black just culture. Not you know what I mean? It's just weird and it's far. It could be a whole bunch of stuff, but the cool shit happens in the city. It's just, I'm not, I don't make the rules up. You know what I'm saying? No, it's true. It's true. Because there's nothing Nelly cool them, that happens around me. Nelly and them love you city. Where was country grandma shot? We're the first video to, to do some cool shit. Yeah. Y'all on Labity. Y'all not in U City. I didn't yeah. make the rules up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't like, make the rules up. You know what I'm saying? Sumner was Sumner way before I was thought of. Yeah. And all that and that culture and shit. So it's just like, you know, being from Hazelwood, it's tight. Mm-hmm. I got hella friends that's from Hazelwood Central, all that kind of shit. I fuck with them niggas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But being from the city, it's just a different kind of flavor when you're moving around, yeah. how you move, and that's what I'm saying. You in the suburbs, that's cool. Mm-hmm. But we can't, we're not redefining the suburbs. We're not redefining the suburbs. No, yeah. no. That's why we have the, that's why the, the map is laid out how it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saw like, you know what I mean? And I, I'm not, it's not prejudice, it's just the truth. Yeah. No, it is the truth. It is the truth. Because I'm, I live in the suburbs, and there's nothing cool that happens out it here. was made but, not cool. That's what it was made for. Yeah, it was made for people to get away from all of that and just like it was made to not be cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. Your mom and dad raised you that way. It's okay. You got to do something new to get involved. You know what I'm saying? And so you got to get your girl away. So that's what I'm saying. Hood chicks mm-hmm. be wanting to be wanting to the suburban life. Mm-hmm. I go out in the suburbs. You gotta go meet little Brian that's out there. He cool. He black. His grandma lives where you from, but he he on a different type of time. You trying to be on that hood, cool nigga type of time. He not on that time. He not on that time. He mm-hmm. can do that time of once a week, maybe twice a month. Wow. Maybe three if he really want to go outside because he love you. You got him outside. Wow. But I'm just saying, it is what it is. Now, Cardi be back in New York, being from New York. That's what you should have did. You try to go get that Atlanta nigga. That's not your type of time. Then Atlanta mm-hmm. niggas be having a whole bunch of baby mamas and shit. Look at Anthony yeah, Edwards. Yeah, Atlanta niggas different. Anthony Edwards already, he um, on a different type of time. You know what I'm saying? That's a different. That, that man. Hey. That look. man doing his big one. They say, let land dog sleep, man. Hey, that let man doing his dog big sleep. one. So, are you, are you team? Cardi, moving on. Are you what? Are you offset? Are you down with offset? Do you want a nigga to show up to the club where you at? Please don't show up to the club where I'm at. <laughs> I mean, it's a free world. Yeah, but at this point, you're like this is it's low key harassing me because now you're like trying to fuck up my night. Um, I personally would have been left offset. Right. So, I can't say that I'm team Offset. Like, okay. but I, I'm also not, like, c- team Cardi B Lee. Like, you know, like, she just got to do whatever works for her. I personally just, just would have been left him. Like, it's, you know, but I, you could see that pull in Cardi B where she, do, she does want her family. You know what I mean? Even the pictures where she just had the new baby. Like, it's like she... It's you could look at her and tell like she laying in that bed like damn I wish you would just do right you know what I mean yeah. <laughs> like so I think that's that pull in her but she know like man I deserve better than this too and so I, like, I just want Cardi to do what's best for Cardi yeah I said would have been out of there like a that's long what I'm, time. that's all I'm saying it's just like when you go back in time you think about it like damn what kind of parent was this person being. Before you decided to make them your partner. Mm-hmm. Right? Because it's just like... That was a situation too. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like... You got to see how people handle other situations. And what roles they play. 
because that is indicative, not necessarily of what they're going to do with you, but just of who they were. Yeah, but most of the time it is what they're going to do with you. And I just recently like went through that and had to realize that like you have to look at like how like how people show up for the other people in their life that was around longer than you or that's close to them. It's right. a pretty good indication indication on how they're going to show up for you. Right. Like you have to pay attention to that. And I think a lot of women be like, he do that with them. Like I'm different. Cause I know that's what I would think. I used to be like, nah, like I'm different. Like I know him for real, you know, like a girl in our mind, we're delusional. So mm -hmm. like, we'll tell ourselves like that we're so different or that he like, he loves me different or he ain't lying to me. You know, like it's just so many different things mm -hmm. to put us in a different category where we're like, nah, like it's not, that's not happening. Do but the whole think time, the other happening. girls are stupid or something, huh? What do y'all think about the other girls? The other what other girls? I'm saying like he wouldn't do that to me, or he did that before. Are you thinking of like yeah, she wasn't something? Yeah, I well, I don't know if it's that she wasn't something. It's just more like it's me. Like you know what I mean? Like it's I don't think it's like oh, a, so women are egotistical. Gotcha. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like it's me. Like why wouldn't he? He wouldn't play with me. Type vibe. So and remember when I told you I don't trust girls that only got selfies on their Instagram pictures. Remember I told you that. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm. That's what that that thing is what I'm talking about. It's like that thing. Now that's what I'm saying. That like women are just in for a rude awakening because men mm -hmm. aren't being taught to treat women that way anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying. Like they're not. They're not taught to like admire this damsel beauty. That's mm -hmm. why it got super popular all of a sudden. I'm just going to say it harshly, to act like a whore online. You know what I'm saying? Because before we shamed them. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, no. Everybody can be whatever. Right? Mm -hmm. So you're like 14. You're like a 13-year-old boy. All this shit is happening. You're like, I don't know the difference. Mm -hmm. So then by the time you're like 16, 17, you want to date. Oh, no, I'm not judging a girl that want to just show her breast and pussy mm -hmm. and whatever. I'm not judging yeah. her any worse. And I'm judging a girl that's modest. Mm -hmm. or XYZ. And so now for a lot of the girls that were modest, good girls, mm -hmm. we're not taught to value that anymore. Yeah. We're taught whatever kind of woman you are, mm -hmm. you're a good woman. And yeah. I'm not saying that's not true, but I'm saying you're not taught that with men. Mm -hmm. Women have to go beyond their intuition to mm -hmm. mess with a bad boy. That's where that whole thing came from. Yeah. He's a dumbass nigga. Ah, I want a bad mm -hmm. boy. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like, or he's the jock. He's mm -hmm. the player. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we haven't made those kind of all the different type of architects yet for women that are coming soon. <laughs> the archetype. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's a yeah. it's gonna be who is gonna be the well, Angel Reese is kind of doing it now. Mm -hmm. But Angel Reese is kind of different because she's tall. Angel mm -hmm. Wilson, she's tall. So she's not really... A, tall women aren't obtainable to all men already. Yeah. Right? So who's going to be like the 5'7", five, 5'8"? Five, she's hella fine. Mm -hmm. She's a big-time athlete. And she's also she's available. Yeah. What kind of who... You know what I'm saying? Like, how is she going to deal with people? Who is she yeah. going to be? Because all the other ones that are normal size, like Coco Golf is just too young. Mm -hmm. Simone Biles married another athlete. So yeah. She went with a tight. And yes, then, speaking uh, of Simone Biles, uh -huh. I was side note, I was looking at her IG. Okay. And Kai was like looking over my shoulder. So she, you know, recently I guess she was in St. Louis. So she posted some emos and then yeah, she posted. She was. Yeah, she posted yeah. her and her husband. So I'm going through and Kyler's like, Mom, Simone Biles has a boyfriend. And I was like, Well, that's her husband, but you know, she, she's old enough to be married. And she was like, and she was like, Oh, well, can he flip? And I was like, no, he plays football. Yeah, she, you know, I was like, she plays football. She was like, oh, he's not better than Simone Biles, though. <laughs> like, completely disregard. Like, he don't flip. Oh, he ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I the women like, used yeah. to be. You know, yeah. oh, it's just his wife. It's just, so then the mm -hmm. wives start having the Instagrams. And yeah. they start becoming XYZ. We know some wives are more popular than their boyfriends. No, really. And husbands. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And so it's just like... Bro, that's what I feel like Cardi B got fucked up. Because mm -hmm. Offset didn't look at her like Cardi B. Yeah. Like, oh my God, I got Cardi B. I got Cardi B, yeah. He didn't... And he, I gotta... He tried to fake that. like he did, but he didn't really feel like that. No. Because yeah. she was so happy to be with Offset. 
Mm-hmm. So now, and our and that's how we talk about relationship. Now both things can't be true. Yeah. And you as a woman, I noticed that in Love Is Blind, it's like a woman on there. She was like super dominating. Mm-hmm. It's her personality. You gotta be like this. I want a man that's like this. I want to know this because she got a checklist because she like 36, 37. Mm-hmm. That's Damn. fine. But I think that dominating women have to know that you're not gonna have a dominating man. It's no way. Uh uh-uh. uh. Because it's gender roles. Yeah. So if you financially smart, like we talked about the other day, our last episode, mm-hmm. then I don't have to be. Yeah. I don't it need kind to be of dumb. I don't need to be irresponsible. Those are two different things, be irresponsible and not just being like the one that's in charge of finances. Yeah. Yeah. That brings me that made me think about reasonable doubt that show I had brought up because okay. the wife is dominating. Mm. And, and the way? husband can't be in Why? every way. Why? She's just dominate because he can't because he can be. Why? Because then at that point, it's like like them felon or something, or like, why can't he dominate? You say, is he a what? Is he a felon or something? Like, why can't he? No, he's not a felon. He just, she is like, she's so dominating that, like, him trying to dominate and like put his foot down is more of like, she don't, she doesn't meet it with submissiveness. She'd be like, well, shit, what's up? Like, you know, well, we going, I said this. You know, so if he really wants his wife, which he does, and it comes out in the show that he does, that he can't be di- like he had to realize it was a moment in the show where he had to realize they were in couples therapy and they had did like separate sessions. Gotcha. And he had to realize like the man was like, well, you know, you got to do this, this and this. And he was like, well, why is it always me having to like. Yeah. Make the first step or do this or show my love. And he really looked at him. He was like, Do you want to be right or do you want to be married? Because if you want to be married to her, to this particular person, to gotcha. this particular person, then you got to do what you got to do. And he did what he had to do. But it was like, She is, she's the dominating one. And just when you was just like, You can't, both parties can't be dominating. And it's like, No, it's true. And he was good at his job. Like, yeah. he was like this. What like this game developer, super good, like super high up in the company. So it wasn't that he wasn't a man in his career or in his life because his friends respected him as a man. Wasn't nobody yeah. treating him like a lame. But he just wasn't the most dominant in the marriage or in the relationship. And that's what I'm saying. Niggas got to understand that. You know what I'm saying? And, and as people, you know what yeah. I mean? Because it, it's just, and even it ain't even like a money thing. Even if you're broke. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're still making a way for yourself. Like, yeah. some people's personalities are just like that, and some women are like that. Mm-hmm. And so it's like that submissiveness. I don't know. You don't talk about, I guess for men, they talk about, like, you a beta male. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or, or X, Y, Z, or something like that. And that goes back to a conversation I had when we were in New Orleans, talking about Diddy, and I was just like, yes, like, it is a group of men who are men that are down for whatever from their woman. If she yeah. want to do whatever, she can have me however she want to have me because that's just how he is doing Like That's just the act that he under. And it's not that he a bitch or niggas don't fuck with him, but there are men like that. And I feel like a lot of women, like he could be end up being a good partner, good man, but because he don't show masculinity in a certain way. And that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like usually for black people, it's all based off of like, where you from? So it's like, if mm-hmm. you are, I'm extra like it's just the hood as the baseline i'm from the hood i'm hella hood okay mm-hmm. well man or woman you kind of need something that's kind of mirroring that or i'm yeah. from the hood well i'm smart well then you know you can't really do a hood ass chick even though you might be attracted to hood ass chicks it's like yeah because uh, you're from the hood but it's like that you need a certain type of and then yeah. kind of goes that way so then like when people mismatch mm-hmm. it's like a person it really is just like your personality kind of mm-hmm. and it's just like i feel like I was watching uh like a newer episodes of Love is Blind and I was saying like mm-hmm. I don't think that there's a lot of conversation around men who want to desire one woman and what mm-hmm. that actually looks like. I feel like yeah. a lot of times when women shut men down and their desires for them, mm-hmm. they don't communicate why they're shutting them down and it becomes yeah. insecurity. And then that's when niggas just be like, oh, well, I just need to go get that attention. I need to feel the tired another way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's probably a healthier way to communicate why you don't want that attention. But mm-hmm. women also have to realize, like, niggas build buildings. <laughs> right? Niggas are crazy. Niggas will go to war. Niggas will run and, ah, war. Right? 
So he's putting that same energy into you. So you say you want a man to be all over you. Well, you got to pick the right man, the right style that you want to be all over you. What is all over you? That's very true. You know what I'm saying? And men don't talk about the rejection feeling that we get Mm -hmm. when a person don't match that desire or you can be too much or you could be usually a lot of women then immediately try to like sexualize the man. Mm-hmm. That's all you really want from me. And that's why it's like, no, that's just how I show desire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that goes back to niggas misusing showing desire. We talk about like niggas doing too much. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you immediately want to give this girl a gift. Mm-hmm. Or you immediately want to show her XYZ. And it's just like, but now she's just want to be on you. Yeah. But you don't actually want to be with her. Mm -hmm. That's just the only way you know how to show your desires. Yeah. And women are just more disciplined with their desires a lot of times because they don't want to be labeled hoes. For sure. Or they just don't tell people their desires. Yes. They just don't tell people. And then they, and then you have to find out on the low, like, oh, you're a hoe. That's interesting. (laughs) <laughs> it's always an interesting conversation with people like you find out not even if you have sex with them like oh you're a hoe I did not know that like you don't show that at all that is really interesting like you gotta be careful out here like you really gotta you know what I'm saying cause it's like that's an interesting dynamic that could be a whole different episode but <laughs> oh you're a hoe you know what I mean so I don't know if Offset can just control his desires we yeah. seen I don't we think can, so we can go down the line we seen Jay-Z struggle with his Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which makes sense to me. Just based off listening to, like I said, Jay-Z music before. He was a mm-hmm. wild boy. Yeah. And now it's like, Beyonce, you just coming of age. Now she got to fake be like, wow, but now I'm wild in my marriage. It's just mm-hmm. like, well, I guess that's cool. <laughs> that's interesting. Like nobody, she's the only person that's like pushing that agenda, which I think is really interesting. Mm-hmm. Like there's nobody else that's like married that like talks about it in that way with her yeah. platform. Like of course yeah. they're like, Marsha Ambrosia to me, mm-hmm. like it's different singers of her age, which is, you know, what I'm saying generation maybe that talk about being married, mm-hmm. like on that bigger platform. Like, no, Beyonce is like, she's going crazy. She's riding yeah. surfboard. She, like, <laughs> no other woman is doing that kind of thing. And that's like, yeah, interesting. Cardi it B is. tried, like I said, she tried it, but then it was like her husband wasn't like holding it down enough. Yes, it's weird because she, she does try it, but it's like you can't try it with Offset because he's not really holding it down for you, Cardi. So Nikki trying it, but nobody like her husband. Nobody likes her husband. So Nikki, we don't give a fuck. Shout out to Safari. And I love Nikki. Wrong? Was Safari wrong for going to Gag City? He went to Gag City. You ain't see that? Safari went to Gag mm-hmm. City. I think he had security with him, and they ended up. She ended up putting him out. Why she put him out? Um, I mean, I guess they don't have like the best relationship. Mm. He could have been trying to be funny. I mean, I guess if I'm her, it's like I don't fuck with you. Like if you just would have been on some low key shit, but it was like he was like filming it, like making a oh vlog yeah, that's weird. It. Yeah, I guess. Did you see the video where uh, Erica Mena jumped his fence with the ladder? No, but what a loser safari. Why would you date that big breast loser, Erica Mena? <laughs> She jumped, she pulled up, she put a, I'm talking about a ladder. This is a real ladder. So I don't know if she had to, if she put the ladder in her car, how she got the ladder to his house, or if the ladder was already at his house and she just knew it would be like outside in the shed or something. You know, but, you, know she, you know, she canceled for me after she called old girl Spice a monkey on Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, no. You got yeah. put off of Love and Hip Hop. You got to do some crazy shit. You got to be wild for that. But, um, she pulled the ladder and then climbed the ladder and jumped over the fence. And then she was like at the side door, like going or trying to go back and forth with him. And then it jumped to another video of them inside the house. And she was like wilding out in front of the kids and like just started knocking his decor down. And she yeah, sure. I don't know why Safari hasn't grown emotionally to not be with a woman that would abuse him emotionally. Yeah, yeah, mommy issues. That's a good one. He's got mommy issues. Got to. I think that's the thing I took away too from Anthony Edwards. Got lost to. his mom, lost his grandma. 
Mm-hmm. His big sister raised him. I was like, oh, that's why he got nice kids, man. That's why he got all these kids. Yeah. He got Leave my these girls alone, man. Leave these girls yeah. alone. Please, Aunt Man. Please. Yeah. I'm learning how important it is to understand the relationships some these men have with their moms. The same way they be online about women and their daddies, it's the same. <laughs> Ladies, you need to check. <laughs> What that what type of relationship he has with his mother? Like, what is going on there? Like, is it a good one? Is it a healthy one? If there's things happen, have they tried to fix it? Like, you have to figure out what's going on. I'm trying to watch what I say. <laughs> uh, yes, I agree. Um, you know, I realized that I had a real good relationship with my mom when when I was in high school, my mom. And, and so many words explains to uh, my high school girlfriend how I was moody. <laughs> and she was just like, yeah, you know, like Ryan will be upset about something, like really upset about something. And then like 15, 20 minutes later, he not <laughs> upset. <laughs> and I just at first, you know, I had to realize like I had to kind of start letting stuff go because it's like he didn't let it go. And he... <laughs> And I was like, damn, I'm not really understanding kind of just on the game. Like, <laughs> like, but funny. it was like interesting. I never had heard her say how I acted to a, a girl mm-hmm. to some degree, you know what I'm saying? But I was yeah. like, yeah, I guess I do be doing that. And it, yeah. it was like a light bulb. And I was like, damn, my mama was like, it's judging me <laughs> as a person. Like, but as she should, because she don't want yeah. me to be like a terrible man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, no, seriously. Um, but I just thought that was super interesting. And I've always had like a... a like a, a open relationship with my mom. That's so it's like I could yeah. tell, like I'd just be honest with her for better or for worse. I'm sure it was yeah. times that she didn't want me to be honest about myself or her either. Yeah. <laughs> but it was just like, whatever. Yeah. yeah. You're going to find out sooner or later. You're so. going to find out. Yeah. Here we are. So, yeah. well, and speaking of that, you know, they say Diddy still kisses mom on the mouth. So she came out and made a statement about him. Just don't say nothing. I don't get. I actually, you know, since we're talking about mothers, yeah, I have to go be one. Um, I have a parent teacher conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, keep keep doing that. Uh, maybe (laughs) these other mothers could learn something from you. Um, we'll give you mom of the year for sure. These others, I don't know. These other ones, I know some great moms. Yeah, it's a lot of great moms out there. Yeah, so, a lot of great dads too. We got a great dad on our show. Yeah, so, we yeah. actually yes, we do have a great dad on our show, and I am very proud of the men of our generation because they are really stepping up and trying to be fathers, and not trying, they are changing being changing their fathers. perception. Changing, that yes, perception. they are changing their perception. They are showing up. They're not giving up, even when you know the women get a little loosey goosey. You know, there. they're not giving up on their kids in the relationship with their kids. They're fighting for that. They're showing up for their kids. That's so what we need. That's what we shout need. out to all of the young black fathers. They're doing great. <laughs> well, that's it for us. This could have been a text, yes. but we made it a podcast. Uh, until next time, subscribe, like all that other shit that you're supposed to do to help us do this. Please. We, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers on our YouTube. Yes. So, I don't know if you got this far late into it. If you're listening, go subscribe, educate mm-hmm. self, cultivate others. That is the YouTube. Yes. This search could have been a text. We should pop up. If not, mm-hmm. we should we definitely got pop up right now. We got bigger problems <laughs> if we're not popping up. Okay. So we'll talk to y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>